like something's about to happen, but I don't know what. If that means what I think it means, You're we're in trouble. So big big enemy is bananas, as you say. I'm not taking any chances. You are just what Hi, this is your boy Marshall Mathers, aka Solo Protocol, and I am bringing you some Xbox One news. Now, there's an Xbox One update tomorrow, 11th of this month. The update is supposed to bring uh, the ability to see the battery life of our controller, which is the one I'm most interested in. And it's it could separate games from apps and many more features. There's also features for Titanfall that's not yet released. And yeah, it's supposed to better the party chat quality of Titanfall when it gets released. Now, in related news, Titanfall Open Beta is coming out on Valentine's Day the 14th. The beta is going to span for five days. If you have not pre-ordered Titanfall yet, do not worry. You don't have to pre-order to get access to the beta. Just check your marketplace. It should be somewhere there or check Titanfall website on Valentine's Day. Now, the beta is five days, like I said, and it's open. You can talk about it in the websites. You can post videos on the internet and all that good stuff. I played the alpha, I'm really looking forward to this. Now the beta is going to be built from the ground up. It's not the alpha slapped with some patches on it. Next up, Titanfall pre-order. If you have not pre-ordered your Titanfall yet, I suggest you go to GameStop and pre-order it. This is the reason why. You get a free Titanfall poster, time to replace that shit. You get a free Titanfall poster on release day and they also have uh, Titanfall headsets and they look gorgeous. They're $149.99 if you can afford it. Go pre-order it. They were not available before when I asked for it, but now they're available at GameStop. Next news, Call of Duty. Call of Duty, the next Call of Duty is going to be created by Sledgehammer Studios. They were behind one of the Modern Warfare series. Now, Activision is entering a three-year dev cycle. What does this mean? Each developer between Treyarch, Act, Treyarch, Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer Studios are going to have three years. What, what's the pros for this? The pro is that for three years, it's a lot of time to work on a game, patch up everything, make it look real good. The con, like me, if you prefer, if you have high value for one um, dev over the other, for example, some people love Infinity Ward and hate Treyarch Call of Duties. I love Treyarch Call of Duties, but the rest I really don't care much, but I'm still going to get them. So if you're the type of person that, the soul, that, that's a fanboy from one studio, then you got to wait three years to get what you enjoy. And finally, Metal Gear Solid. Why am I talking about Metal Gear? Now, Metal Gear Ground Zero is to come out match, but this game is only $40. And at first I thought, hey, that's really cheap, Japan. Thank you. But it's only two hours of gameplay. I'm not going to advise you to buy that. What I would advise you is that to wait till next year, 2015. And why is that? Phantom Pain, the actual full game, is coming out 2015. Sometime very late. This game is supposed to be a tutorial, which means if you buy it now, then you're going to play it for $40. Forget about it. 2015, December, you're probably going to buy it again so you can play for fun and remember before you start this game. So I'll, wait, I'll ask you to wait. By then, it should have been hella cheaper. And that's it for today, friends. Make sure you subscribe. Um, I will put a link. Follow me on Twitter for the latest news at Marsha Mathers. Link is going to be in the description. Make sure you like this video. And remember, my first 50 subscribers are going to experience a giveaway of two $15, one five, $15 gift, Xbox Live gift card. So make sure you like and subscribe. Peace out. You've been informed. Tomorrow we finally get that Xbox update. It comes with new range of features. Now I can catch my friend downloading all those strange pictures. Now I can see my controller battery live. I used to be in mid game and then my controller battery dies. I used to get a chem strike, but I can't call. If this were to happen to Iron Man, then I guarantee you he'd be in space, dropping down like a Titanfall. Metal Gear for $40? I guess you're gonna need to come at me with a Metal Gear itself. Corner me while I hand you the money as I puke in fear. Like I've been drinking a 40 for two hours, cause my death is near.
and Call of Duty. What do I hear about Call of Duty sharing a bed with three devs? I guess you cannot call it Call of Duty. Because now I gotta wait for Infinity, like Thor threw his sledgehammer into space before Treyarch, which is my favorite, puts me something on a plate. 